Hello everyone, this is Hugh from website rockstars.com and today I'm going to show you how to put a banner ad in the header of your Atahualpa WordPress theme. So what does that mean? Uh, if you look at my site here, there's a banner up here in the header and that's one of the prime spots on your blog so if you can put a banner there and you know, sell that advertising space that's great or if you have a great affiliate program that you promote then that's another good thing that you can stick in there. So I didn't know how to do this for a while actually and uh, I just figured it out so this is how you do it. There are actually several different ways to do it but this is the easiest way that I found. So from your dashboard let's go into Atuhuapa theme options. Then first of all let's click on style and configure layout. Let's take a look at that first. Um, the first thing you want to take note of is this layout width. Hopefully you've set it to a, a fixed width like I suggested. So this so my site is a thousand pixels wide so we'll just keep that in mind. Um, the next thing we want to do is go down to header area and let's click on style and edit header area and in this first block um, we're configuring the header area obviously so there's gonna be uh, these tags for the different things that you can put or the different elements that you can put into this header area. Um, in, this example I have the logo and the pages. So if we take a look at the website, um, this is the logo here and these are the pages, uh, the page menu. But if you want to stick something into here, it can get a little tricky, but uh, this is how you do it. So I provided the code below this video and you can just copy and paste the code and just really quickly I'm going to go through what all these numbers mean. Okay, so the first element is the table width. That's a thousand because as we saw in the previous section, the width of the body is a thousand pixels. So we're just going to put a thousand in there. And then for the height, you want the height to be the same or a little bit bigger than what your banner is going to be. So in this case, my banner is 60 pixels high. So I just put a hundred in there or 110 in there just to uh, be safe. The next part is the first column. So how wide is the first column? And in this case, we're going to stick the logo into that first column. So as you can see here, this is the first column. This is the second column. You just have one row in this table. So we're going to look at the image info. And in this case, it's 515, 515 pixels wide. So we're going to come back here. And as you can see, this was set to 515 pixels. And that's going to contain the logo. And then we're going to move to this next section, which is the second column. Uh, this part over here where your banner is going to be. So in this case, you just subtract 515 from 1,000. You get 485. And if you check the width of this banner, it's 468. So that fits. So that's OK. And then uh, you want to stick in the link code here. Um, if you wanted to open in, in another window, which you should, um, you put in target equals blank. And then that that's the um, the link code. And then now you're coming down to the image code. Where is the, where's the picture coming from? And in this case, I'm using an affiliate program. So this is, the, this is where the image is stored. Um, it does have an alternate text, which means that when you put your mouse over it, it will show up. Uh, it just depends which browser you have. But if you have, if you want to put in a uh, alternate text or a description in there, that will work. Uh, you can set the border to zero. That's always a good idea because sometimes it puts a, a funky blue border around uh, around an image that's a link. And then you close the tag, the uh, the link tag, the uh, aref, and these are just closing table tags. And then you put in the table, I mean the pages uh, marker here so that you have this pages menu down here. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's an easy way to stick a banner into your header. And in a future video, I'm going to show you how to sell this banner space automatically. People can just come to your website. They'll say, hey, I want to advertise in that spot. They can just uh, upload their banner. If you approve it, they'll pay you and their ad will show up. Simple as that. So in this case, we just want to start slow. Um, I just show you how to put in an affiliate banner and hopefully that will get you some sales um, since it's a very high profile spot on your website. Okay, I hope that helped and thanks for watching.